We need to get into our news of the week, which is brought to you by Eagle Mortgage, eaglemortgagecompany.com. Um, they've been in the business for well north of 30 years. Holly Schneidewind uh, runs the place, and along with her team, they do a fantastic job of taking care of their clients. Eagle Mortgage is the company you want to call if you're thinking about buying a new house. Big investment, big deal. Most people only buy a handful of houses in their entire life. So if you're thinking about doing that, get a hold of Eagle Mortgage. You want to get yourself a pre-approval letter. It's kind of like going into battle with a shield and a sword. And um, it'll really help you because sometimes these housing things can still be competitive even to this day. You can find Eagle Mortgage in person at 114th and Davenport or online at eaglemortgagecompany.com. Uh, Craig and Isaiah are going to join me for the news. And our first story is uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, it's a good sign of what can happen uh, as we try to uh, bolster economic development in uh, North and South Omaha. Pacific Engineering, which is a manufacturing company out of Lincoln, um, is opening up a 52,000 square foot manufacturing facility at 5902 North 9th Street. So that's a little bit west of uh, Epley Airfield and north of Storrs Expressway. Uh, but what's unique about this is it is part of the North and South Omaha recovery grants from the Nebraska Department of Economic Development. They're receiving $10 million for this. And, uh, and gentlemen, I, I see this as... Uh, an encouraging sign, especially as we're talking about creating an, an inland port um, around Epley Airfield. We desperately need to get more jobs in the heart of the city, and and this seems to be a, a step in the right direction. Yeah, this is a uh, this area I think is in within that inland port yeah. um, area, and so uh, having a large employer like that come in and make that kind of commitment, I think, is super important for that moving forward. Uh, North Omaha. Um, we've talked about this in the, in the past, but, uh, history of this investment and, uh, it's nice to see private employers, private investment going into North Omaha, especially at that scale. And then, um, we're going to shift our gears now from Northeast Omaha all the way out to, uh, Gretna. Bit of a drive, but uh, nevertheless, uh, we had some uh, really exciting news this week. League One Volleyball, uh, which is one of the two professional volleyball teams uh, in Omaha this year, announced plans to build a 66,000 square foot training facility called the the Love Hub Omaha League One Volleyball. Their, their logo is like L-O-V and it's kind of an E, kind of a B. Um, so it's uh, like Love Hub Omaha, League One Volleyball Hub Omaha. Um, this team is launching in January of 2025. They'll uh, join the Omaha Supernovas as two uh, major league professional volleyball teams in Omaha. We're going to actually talk about something about the Supernovas here a little bit later in the show. But uh, Craig, um, this League One Volleyball facility will be uh, just north of Highway 370 and west of 192nd Street also happens to be the same general area where you're going to be building a chair athletics gym. Yeah, that's right. This is a, a just a great area of town that uh, 192nd corridor all the way to 204th and 370. You know, you've got the greatest IV in the world. You got Flea Farm coming in. Now you've got, um, a, 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 you know, the Premier Group is, is coming in uh, to uh, for volleyball. And, uh, you know, we're developing a 34-acre spot on, along 198th and 370 uh, to put a uh, new cheer athletics uh, in in uh, over the next uh, 24 to 36 months. So what a what a phenomenal area. Um, Mayor Mike Evans is doing a great job there. And and Craig, I don't know, you know, we can't necessarily have you say what they are, but in addition to this League One volleyball and cheer athletics, and of course, eventually in a, you know, maybe a couple of years, we expect Fleet Farm to open there. You know, you and the other people involved in that are, it's my understanding you're working with some pretty good brands and some big businesses. Yes. Um, you know, we're in the process right now of, of, of doing our due diligence. We will... Uh, we've already got uh, some organizations that have committed to the development. Um, I, I cannot talk about who that is right now, but right around, I think, the first of the year, uh, we'll be breaking big news uh, of who's going to be in our 34 acres. And uh, let me just say the people, especially of Gretna in that area, should be very excited. 
All right. Well, uh, we will anticipate what that might be as uh, as the next couple of months go on. Well, we had some interesting uh, news about the Omaha rental market. Uh, there's an organization called Rent Cafe, uh, which covers apartment news, multifamily news. And a uh, recent survey, uh, Rent Cafe surveyed 137 U.S. rental markets. And Omaha was one of them. And as it turns out, the, the, uh, the plan was to determine uh, just how competitive these rental markets are and which ones are the most competitive. And when we're saying competitive, we're talking about how many people essentially compete for available units because we have a shortage of, of housing units in this country. And as you're about ready to find out, certainly in this metropolitan area, Omaha's number seven out, out of 137, the seventh most competitive rental market. And get this, an average of 13 prospective renters compete for each available rental unit in Omaha. Um, what about the rest of the top 10? Uh, the most competitive market was suburban Chicago, followed by Miami-Dade, uh, then Milwaukee, then Bridgeport, New Haven, and Connecticut. Uh, number five was City of Chicago. Uh, six was North New Jersey, seven Omaha, eight suburban Philadelphia, followed by Manhattan, New York, and then the borough of Brooklyn, New York. Um, Isaiah, the uh, when you look at something like this, you can see it from two perspectives. If uh, you're looking at the health of the city, good sign. Right. If you're uh, a department developer or landlord, good sign. If you're a tenant, it's getting expensive. Yeah, and that's, I think, I, I've seen other reports regarding the growth of rental rates, and we're still definitely one of the fastest, um, which, again, for that first half of the group that you're talking about, definitely positive for for users or for uh, residents that it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. And, 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 and you want to strike this balance because it's good to have this, this healthy growth. And, and, uh, and when, you know, the real estate investment world does good, the economy does well. Um, but, but yeah, you, you do, you do find yourself being concerned about affordability guys. I think this also tells us because we, we've been hearing statistics kind of like this for a couple of years now. Uh, yet, a couple of years ago, our population was not growing as fast as it had been. Yeah. I suspect something is picking up because um, so someone is creating a demand for all these rental units because it seems to me like we're building apartment units like they're going out of style. Right. And that, yeah, that, that building apartment boost hasn't stopped. So I, I, I agree that there's, there's numbers that aren't adding up. And I, I think that we are growing at, at least a steady pace. And I think uh, when you talk about 13 people for every available apartment, you know, just in general, everyday conversations, you know, you, you say to each other, geez, an apartment building's going up and it's full, like, by mm -hmm. you know, within a couple of months. And now that this makes sense to us and, and you know, with interest rates higher, maybe people are continuing to, 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 to look at the apartment uh, just uh, to, to save a little money. Uh, but um, there's no doubt that... Uh, uh, we, where are all the people coming from? Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That's a good question. <laughs> Who the hell are all these people? And <laughs> yeah. where are they coming from? Uh, we're glad they're here. We're glad they're here. We just need to build a lot more housing units for them um, and, and really fast, too. We need to do it really fast. Well, um, Craig, for a couple of West Side grads, this is uh, you know a hard story for us to, to bring up. But uh, nevertheless, uh, we want to congratulate all of our friends who are alumni of Burke High School because Ooh, oh, they're... Uh, we love everyone. <laughs> oh, wait, our board producer, Bill, is a Burke alum. <laughs> okay, we better be nice. All right, so congrats to uh, Burke High students, alums, and staff because they are getting a very uh, thoroughly renovated outdoor sports facility. You know, they have the very big football stadium where the state track meet has held every year, but that thing is being completely renovated. And when it's all said and done, it's going to be a pretty special place. And I would imagine, you know, you love youth sports, Craig, which we'll talk about later in the show, some youth sports stuff. It's great to see, uh, it's great to see OPS making that facility in, in their biggest stadium. Absolutely. It's long overdue. And, and especially with the state track meet there, that this will, this will be uh, a phenomenal uh, add to, to that area, to the city. 
Uh, what's the timeline on that, Jeff? You know, they're not playing football there this fall, but uh, it needs to be ready for state track next spring. So my guess is they're going to uh, they're going to get the let out and they're going to hustle. And, and those guys uh, will be uh, working pretty hard and pretty fast there to get that thing ready for next spring. And ladies and gentlemen, that is your news of the week brought to you by Eagle Mortgage, EagleMortgageCompany.com. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.